What the devil is going on here? <laughs> this video should really just be renamed Amy being thirsty for Starkid cast members. A pain in the arse, right? <laughs> now I know this just from TikTok. You can go to the trash. My jumper says my mum thinks I'm cool and um, I hope you like it. Hi, how are you? I hope that you're very, very well. So, I have a confession to make. I have never seen a Star Kid musical. I know. I've hidden this for a very long time and I've had lots of people ask me, will you do a Star Kid video? What do you think of Star Kid? I just didn't want people to um, shame me. Last night at like 2 a.m. I was like, do you know what? Maybe I'll watch some Star Kid musicals tomorrow. So I asked on my Twitter if I should and people were like, yeah, definitely. So that's what I'm doing. So yeah, I asked on my Twitter what I should do. Should I watch like a compilation or should I watch all of them and everyone was like Amy you have to watch them all so I'm starting here the thing is we're on lockdown baby I've got a lot of spare time shall we watch the whole thing should we watch all of them <laughs> maybe and I think by maybe I mean yes so I don't know a huge amount about them I'm Darren Chris is a writer? Maybe that's wrong. Did he used to be? I don't know. I know that he was in a very Potter musical and I know that he played Harry Potter, but that's basically all I know. I suppose I should just like jump into it and just get going. I'm nervous because it's like two hours long, I think. RIP to me trying to edit this. So I've got snacks. I'm ready, baby. A very Potter, pottery? <laughs> a very Potter musical. Wait, it's in 20... Eugene! <laughs> this is gonna be long. 16 million views. Wouldn't it be nice if this video got 16 Sorry, million views? Please. Now anyone who knows me knows I love musicals, Darren Chris, and Harry Potter, so I'm very excited. 16 million views. We can only dream. <laughs> I'm already happy. My uncle and my aunt. Oh my god, he's got an English accent. <laughs> Literally all of us in quarantine. Am I right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But it's just not fair that Darren Chris is just... He's so cool. <laughs> Do you know what? Darren Chris is like my ultimate crush. I'm obsessed with him. I don't even care. I love him. He's so talented. Let's be honest. He is the boy that everyone wants. So they started off English and now they're definitely American. Well, Darren Chris was like Dursley. So like Dursley. So he definitely was being English and he isn't now. I'm intrigued. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm sorry. The audience are already doing my head in. I'm glad that people are enjoying it. But you know when you can tell, like, I think this maybe started out at, at, like, a college or something? But you can tell that people are laughing at stuff because of, like, the in-jokes of who's doing it. It's annoying because I can tell that they're doing some great stuff, but I can't hear it because of the people laughing. And I'm glad that people are enjoying it, but it's also really annoying. Anyway, there's my little rant over. <laughs> Right, something I really miss about Harry Potter and like being young was I remember when each Harry Potter film would be coming out and like be in production and I remember when they would cast people that you'd obviously read in the books and I remember so vividly the girl who played Cho Chang being cast and everyone being like, oh, this is the girl who gets to kiss Harry Potter. It was all anyone talked about. That's something I really miss about like the Harry Potter world and like growing up. I'm Cho Chang, y'all. Right, I'm obsessed with this, I love it. <laughs> now I know this just from TikTok. Did someone say Draco Malfoy? I think this is Lauren Lopez, who was in the Starry concert. So Starry is a new musical I talked about in my last video that I think you should all go and listen to, because it's great, and I'm pretty sure that she was in the concert of it. <laughs> Okay, Draco Malfoy is my favourite. She's a girl. She's very British. Big fan. Big fan. He's very familiar. Who is he? He was also in it. In the starry thing. Anyway. Fantastic. So Darren Chris wrote the music with BMD. <laughs> I love Cedric Diggory. 
cool to be like in the audience of a show like this that then like blows up massively. I always think that like you should go and support new writing and new people in theatre and stuff because you never know what's going to come of it and it's like an exciting piece of history to be a part of. I'm sitting and looking at all the people and I'm like oh my god I wish I was you like this is so cool that you got to experience this in person. No. And I'm obsessed. Why have I not watched this before? Is Dumbledore wearing sliders? <laughs> that was simply a fart. <laughs> we are tight. <laughs> I love how Harry's like a little frat bro. Pig Fox is on Mars. What? <laughs> Rumble roar! Come on, let's go watch Wizards of Waverly Place. Again, everyone on quarantine with Disney Plus. <laughs> I want another song. Crow's <laughs> <laughs> oh, so cute. Think a girl fall in love with me? I mean, she is all of us. <laughs> wow, that invisibility cloak there. I use it to avoid ever having to face my reflection in the mirror. <laughs> I relate. Can like people put on these productions? Is it like licensed? Can like schools do it if they wanted? Honestly, the whole time I'm like, when's Draco gonna come back? I just kill people that try to get me to open up, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Voldemort. Oops. I've never had a friend. Oh. Well, it looks like we got one now. <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> that dragon scared him so much. <laughs> one, two, three, I beat the dragon! <laughs> <laughs> Harry's such a dick. <laughs> I can't help it, I'm in love with him. I'm sorry, I'm in love with him. Boy, Cedric Degore already asked me. I'm <laughs> Cedric Degore. <laughs> you can tell me anything, you know that. I love Voldemort and Quirrell. Yeah. I want my own Voldemort. I have to say, Lauren, who is playing Draco, is so fantastic. People are like speaking to her in America, but she's like, no, bitch, I'm gonna be English. And she's like really sticking to it, and I really appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> this song slaps. That bitch. <laughs> yeah, I know, and I'm, uh, I'm cutting in. Um, <laughs> Have the punch. <gasps> I did not see that coming. <laughs> I mean, I know that we all know that he dies, but I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> I love Cedric! <laughs> Harry Potter! Oh my god. Is he gonna do a tap dance? Why do I fancy Voldemort? <laughs> When did this happen? Do you know what? He's giving me serious Jared Way in the Welcome to the Black Parade music video vibes. The whole time I'm just seeing in that music video. I love how it's like the Harry Potter books. Very, very scary. Very scary. The Harry Potter films. Very scary. Very scary. A very Potter musical is Voldemort and Professor Quirrell being into tap dancing. I'm so here for it. It's so pure and so... So cute. This is the best thing to come out of quarantine so far. The best thing as well is the fact that this is all happening whilst Cedric Diggory is just lying dead in the background. It's like, what the hell? Okay, we're on the final part of act one. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> you missed the raffle. It's Voldemort, he's back. Wow, wow, I love it. 
I love it so much. I can't even tell you how much I love it because I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna go and have some lunch for the interval. Then I will come back and watch act two. Just so you know, um, I'm obsessed. End of act one summary. I love Draco Malfoy. I'm sad that Cedric Diggory died. It's so funny, it's so witty. There were a couple of songs in there that I was like, I couldn't really remember. Gotta Get Me Back to Hogwarts is still in my head, so like that's a catchy tune. Darren Chris, amazing, we love him. But Draco Malfoy is my favorite. And I love Dumbledore as well. Yeah, that's act one. Guess who's back, 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 back again, again, again. Amy's back, tell your friends. It's a couple of hours later, I'll be honest, I had a nap. I've got a bagel, I'm ready for act two. What I will say right off the bat, this is a long show. That first act, so I was recording for an hour and 45 minutes, like that's a long time. What have we got, nine parts to go. Every time I look at her, I have this pains in my chest and I just know it's her fault that bitch. <laughs> Me about Darren Chris though. Me about Darren Chris. I am never going to be happy again. I am so wrong. So I'm just gonna go curl up in my sock drawer and sleep for days. <laughs> Me. Acting like Garfield on a Monday. <laughs> Did you just see him coughing? I'm sorry. But Darren, why didn't you cough into your elbow like this? <coughs> Wash your hands, kids. COVID-19. <laughs> the Weasleys are honestly such a mood. This came out 11 years ago. Isn't that mad? It's taken me 11 years to watch this. I remember when it came out and everyone at college was like obsessed with it. But I was like, <laughs> I'm like not into that. Do you ever get like really annoyed at your past self? Like, oh my God, I could have been enjoying this for so many years. And there I was being a useless little bitch. If this homemade dark mark won't convince you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it just gets better and better. Duh, the vents. <laughs> Guys, I fancy Voldemort so much. That bone structure, baby. I came into this thinking, ooh, be fancying Darren Chris. And you know what? I still do. And I love that little curly hair. <sighs> However, Voldemort's a bit of all right. You have to be my slave for a whole day, Johnny Bell! No! <laughs> <laughs> Draco to have a solo soon. <laughs> oh I used to have that picture God. on my wall. <laughs> Dumbledore is wearing a High School Musical t-shirt. I can't even tell you how much I love this. This has just taken this from like a 10 to a, like a 100. I rewatched the High School Musicals this week. I cried at the last one because being inside on my own is making me crazy. What would Zac Efron say in a time like this? Do you know what? Every day I say, what would Zac Efron say in a time like this? We had the help of a man on the inside. We had a spy on the inside. That's right, Hercules Mulligan. Wrong musical. It was me. How for you little shit. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Dumbledore was really like this in oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> No! Killing Dumbledore is a step too far! No! I'm on it, Kadabra! could do with some more songs. There's lots of like little short scenes. Don't get me wrong, I love it. I'm loving it. I do think there could be a couple more songs. I love him. This video should really just be renamed Amy being thirsty for Starkid cast members, in all honesty. <laughs> Like, why are you biting me? Why is, ow, why is Mrs. Weasley from like New York? Draco is from England and Cho Chang is from Texas and I just, I'm confused. I feel sorry for Draco. <laughs> That's not the ending of Harry Potter I know. And you're sure you don't want to let Harry Potter know? Is that Rumble Roar? 
What just happened to my voice? This musical is wonderful. Yes. That's great. Right, we're in the last part, last 10 minutes. Did he just avada cadaver a, 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 a bench? Is that a line from Waitress? <laughs> Oh my god, is that Death Eater doing? <laughs> Did they know it before TikTok knew it? Right, for those of you who are normal and aren't obsessed with TikTok, there's this thing on TikTok that's like, I'm really cute. The damn Death Eater is doing it! I'm telling you, these guys were before their time. That was wonderful! That was so wonderful! I have now officially watched a very Potter musical! I feel so completed in my life. I can't believe how long it's taken me to watch that and I'm so glad I did. I'm definitely gonna watch the other ones. If you enjoyed this video, please do let me know. It's maybe a bit strange to just watch somebody just reacting to something, but I hope that you enjoyed it anyway. Let me know if you would like me to do other ones like this and which one you think I should react to next. Yeah, so overall I loved it. I thought it was so, so funny. It's so smart, it's so witty. I wish there were more songs and I wish that the sound quality was a bit better. Like, I don't really care about the video quality, but like the sound, sometimes you miss things, but like, oh, I mean, it came out 11 years ago and like technology was not what it was 11 years ago. I did some research in just before I had my interval nap. It was saying how they're all people who were at university, at the University of Michigan, and it's all been like created through that from when apparently they did like four performances of the show and then they recorded it for like their family and friends and put it on YouTube and then it just went crazy viral which is amazing oh, I've just had such a good time watching it and it's really lifted up my day I've been struggling a little bit with living on my own not going out the house at all so it's been a bit hard for me but today has really like brightened up my week and it's made me feel a lot better so yeah I'm really glad that I've watched it and yeah thank you so much for watching and um, please do subscribe if you like this or if you like musicals because that's what I do mainly on my channel. And yeah, keep well, keep staying home, keep safe. I'll see you all soon. Bye!